Hi, I'm Matt Angel. I'm an almond farmer here in Madera, California. It happens to be the geologic center of California. Uh, we have an amazing growing region. My family's been here a little over 100 years, just like so many family farmers. And uh, we're just really proud to be California farmers and California almond farmers. And almonds fit perfect for us. I mean, it's, a, it's an amazing crop that it's a protein source that, is, that has the flexibility to fit everybody. But the, the people that I think that, that probably influenced me the heaviest was the Australians. Uh, they mirror a lot of what we do. They're second largest almond producer. And I think that, you know, going there, they're truly challenged by water. And one of the things that I'd seen in Australia is that they were using a dual line drip in vineyards. It was called a PRD, which is partial root dry. These rows run north to, to south. So I was actually able to put a system together that allowed me to irrigate either on the west side or the east side of the plant. In doing that, I never fill that profile completely, but what it also does is it causes the off side to become drier. So when you flip it to the off side or the east side after it's been running on the west, that plant tends to be more productive. It, it, it gravitates to needing that water. So what we saw was we increased the efficiency of the trees, but as important uh, that I really saw was I increased my fertilizer efficiency uh, by probably 30%. So, and I think it's really important to understand your soils. Soils are our bank. They're the most important thing that we have as an asset on our farm. What we looked at when we developed this orchard was I think you, know, you have to look at an integrated approach. I think that you need to, you need to be thinking about you know, how the soil takes in water, you know, what the spacing of the trees are, you know, how you're gonna grow it, you know, how you're gonna maintain the canopy and what you're gonna do. There's some amazing growers in California. We've got some of the, the best growers anywhere on the planet. And I think each one of those guys, respectively, is, you know, is, is really great at his game, you know, in his own right. Obviously, the bottom line to all this is sustainability. And, you know, in the old days, sustainability, uh, you know, my, I think my grandmother would have said that was net profit, our ability to reduce our input cost and then increase our output, right? But we're challenged a little different now. It's just not dollars, it's resources. And I think that's what each grower you know, in each corner of California uh, has to look at is what are his resources? Is, you know, does he have uh, district water, surface water, flood? Does he have uh, what kinds of soils? You know, which road direction? And I think those things all play. The intelligence and the, the things that are going on as far as innovation, the growers in, that are here are, are amazing. Uh, our industry is amazing. And what I'm most proud of is that we produce food that's nutrient rich and is good for people.